When it comes to selling self-published books on the Amazon KDP platform, I prefer to go with those evergreen niches, which means they sell well all year round. However, if we can find those books that also sell well at particular times of the year, then that can bring us in extra income, which I like to think of as just icing on the cake. And in today's video, I found one of those very niches. It sells well all year round, and sells well at one particular time of the year. And in fact, one author or one publisher producing these books currently is making around $6,500 per month. And that's just from one book. So if those sorts of figures interest you and you want to get into publishing your own books on Amazon and or build a business that you can do using your computer or laptop from home or from anywhere else in the world for that matter, then follow along as I show you what this niche is. Now, if you've not been here before, then welcome to the channel. My name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So we're going to be exploring this niche initially, showing you the steps I go through for evaluating a niche and seeing whether it's worthwhile creating and selling books in that particular area. Then I'm going to give you some tips and some guidance on creating the interiors for these types of books, because they're not the easiest books in the world to, to create interiors for, although it's a lot easier than writing a 30 to 60,000 word novel. Then we'll look at those all important keywords, which are essential for getting your books seen on Amazon and for getting those sales. And I've got a special gift for you towards the end of the video. So you want to stick around for that. And also in the timeline, there are links there if you want to jump to particular sections of the video that may interest you more. So let's get straight into it. What is this niche? Well, it's the horror coloring book. And I've put in a general search term here into the Amazon search bar. And first of all, what I look at is the number of search results, which you can see here in the top left hand corner, which is 2000, which is quite competitive for a keyword or a buyer search term. But what we're doing initially is just evaluating whether it's worth our time in the first place going for this particular niche. So if I scroll down and have a look at the books. Now, the first books here, we're going to ignore this book here with the sponsored ads, but these first three books, are all published on the KDP platform. You can see here it says independently published. And this is from a, a plugin I've got in, installed called DS Amazon Quick View, which is free. So what I do next is look at the best sellers ranks, which we can see here at the bottom. And I'm looking for three or more books with best sellers ranks of less than 300,000. And that's on the first page of the search results. Because if I find that, it means that books are selling in this particular niche and it's worthwhile exploring further. So let's have a look. Well, these books here, we've got bestsellers rank of just around 2,000, then 11,500, then 17,500. And if we scroll down even further, we've got 16,000, um, 6,980. So straight away, this sparks my interest because it means sales are being made in this particular niche, but not only are sales being made, there are a lot of sales being made because if we have a look at this first book here, and this isn't the one with the lowest bestsellers rank on this page, but if we look at this one here, it's got a bestsellers rank of 1,993. Now, if we take that number, go over to tckpublishing.com, put that into the sales calculator, we can see that this book is selling between 1,330 to around 2,670 per month, which at a price of $7.97 means this book is making around about $2.50 for each book sold in royalties, which means in total, this book is making somewhere between 3,325 to $6,675 a month. Now, from my experience using this calculator, the higher end of this figure is usually more accurate. So this book is making over $6,500 per month, which is just one book. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, that's impossible to do. You know, look at all these books, look at all the best sellers ranks of these books. These are all selling very well. It's gonna be virtually impossible to break into this particular niche. Well, if we look at this book, take a look at when it was published. 
and that's May 2021. So that's only around about four and a half months ago at the time of creating this video. So this publisher has only created this pretty recently. So I decided to have a look at this publisher in more detail and it just seems to be from the picture, one guy, and he's got these two books for sale. Now I did a Google search on this chat, couldn't find any further information. So it doesn't look like this publisher is some big publishing house with hundreds of thousands of dollars of advertising revenue behind it. It just looks like a publisher like you or me. Now, we can see here on this page that one of his books does have sponsored ads running on it. And he's selling it for quite a low price at $4.97. So his profit margin on that book is quite low. So what I suspect this particular author is doing is selling it cheap and running ads and actually making a loss on this book in order to get sales, to get a reduction in the bestsellers rank and also to get those reviews. Now it normally takes about 30 sales to get one review and that's from experience from the sales on my books. So this is one technique of getting your book ranked, getting your book seen and making sales, but it can cost money and you know, you would you can do that when there is quite a lot of competition for a, for a particular book. It's not guaranteed you're going to get high organic ranking, but it can work. And it appears to have done so in the case of this author. Now, one approach that I prefer to take rather than going straight into a competitive niche and running ads, because I didn't run ads on my books until around about 18 months to two years after creating my first book. So the technique that I used was to get my book ranked for less competitive keywords. So if we have a look at this example here, I put in horror coloring book for teens and we can see that there are only 613 results. So there's less competition. And when you scroll down, we can see that there are books listed here that don't currently have reviews. Yes, the bestsellers ranks are a bit higher, so not as many books are selling under this particular search term, but it does mean you can get books seen and ranked. But we're gonna go into that in more detail in a moment when we come to the section on keywords. Now, let's have a quick look inside this book. Now, I think what's made this book particularly successful is this cover, which I find quite striking. It's very bold. And when you look at the interior, we've got really good, interesting illustrations. Look quite gory, in fact, but would attract potential customers. Now, one thing I want to give you warning of is there are a lot of people using what I think may be sort of dubious um, trademarked terms and images, things like Coraline, Rocky Horror Show. So if you decide to go into this niche, you've got to be really careful in terms of what you decide to, to create books on, try not to infringe trademark in both your titles, subtitles, and in the type of images that you use. So I think we can agree, this looks a very uh, potentially lucrative, uh, profitable niche to explore further. So what about the interiors? Well, compared to say things like line notebooks, log books, they are a bit more complicated to create. Now, if you're a graphic designer or illustrator, you're probably gonna be sort of one step ahead of everybody in that you'll be able to create these interiors yourself. I don't fall into that group, so I have to look at alternative ways. And one of the ways um, I look to get in these interiors is first of all, I'll go to somewhere like Fiverr and see if there's any um, illustrators there that interest me. And I put in horror coloring and these options have come up. Now this one looked very interesting to me, um, but was quite expensive. It looks like it's gonna cost you about 57 Australian dollars, so about $40 per page to create. But these look like comic book covers. And I thought, well, could you create an interior of these sort of horror comic book interiors in black and white for people to color in? I think that would be a particularly good idea. And you've got these other options here also to look at. You've got the option of Upwork. And again, I just put in coloring book artist and there's all these options here. Again, you're going to have to invest money for these. And so you would have to contact them and, and discuss what you wanted and discuss the price. Another option would be to go to somewhere like Creative Fabrica, which is my go-to site for graphics, for interiors and the, the covers of books. But there is one problem, and that is that 
you could get lots of people using these particular graphics. So you'd have to sort of get them modified somehow or, or create a background uh, to incorporate these graphics. But here's a little tip. I found this here, which I thought was quite a good illustration for an interior. And I looked here at the author, Gigamotion Graphic, clicked on there, profile and we can see here they've created quite a lot of different styles of illustrations which would be good for covers and interiors. So I took this one step further and did a Google search for Gigamotion graphic and I found that this illustrator had a dribble page and a Facebook page. So I went along to Facebook and you can see here demonstration of the, the illustrations and also on dribble as well. So you could contact the illustrator directly and negotiate maybe getting illustrations done for the interiors of your book. So for people that do contact me and say, you know, how do I create these interiors? Everyone's using those graphics on Creative Fabrica. Just think outside the box a bit and use something like this. Now, I'm not saying everyone go to Gigamotion graphics, although that th that person may appreciate it, but if you find images on sites like Creative Fabrica, designbundles.net, and you click on the author, do a Google search, you may find you come across their pages. They might have a website or Facebook page where you can contact them. Now, getting your books seen. Now, we've seen that one of the ways is to create a striking cover and run ads, which is all well and good for, for those particularly competitive keywords. But the approach I've taken to, to get my book seen and ranked which often doesn't mean running ads, involves finding keywords that are less competitive. And as we saw in this example here, what I mean by less competitive is that the, this number of search results is on the low side. Now, what I do is I look for keywords with search results less than a thousand, which means there's uh, less com competition for those keywords. And I start by doing a general search in the Amazon search bar, like horror coloring book. And we can see here, we've got these keywords suggested. This list on the left-hand side are suggested by Amazon. Now, the beauty of this is, is that Amazon is suggesting these keywords to customers. So customers will tend to click on them, like I do all the time. And also, Amazon is actually telling us what keywords people are searching for. So we don't have to guess and try and make up these particular keywords. Now, what I normally do is then take these keywords and put them into a spreadsheet. Now, I do have a plugin installed called AMZ Suggestion Expander, which gives us these extra keywords on the right hand side here, which also go into a into a spreadsheet. Now I do also have another plugin installed called Keywords Everywhere, which gives me this number here, which you can see says 55, and that's the number of Google searches per month and can help, you know, give a keyword extra strength if we are looking at trying to decide on what keyword to use. And I create a spreadsheet of these keywords. I'll just enlarge that. And we can see I have three columns, keyword, Amazon search results, Google monthly searches. And I'll put each of those keywords into the Amazon search bar, look at the number of Amazon search results and write them down in this spreadsheet. And you can see I've done this here and I've actually got around or I found around 40 keywords. And I can then look at all those keywords and choose keywords with search results less than a thousand. And that's only from my experience. I found that if a keyword has a thousand searches or less in the old categories on Amazon, then it's a lot easier to, to, to get my books ranked. So that's just from my experience and I'm giving you the benefit of my experience. There's nothing particularly scientific about it. If you wanted to take this one step further, you could then use a tool like Publisher Rocket, where you could get the estimated searches on Amazon per month, or a tool like a Magnet on Helium 10, again, where you can get the search or estimated search volume on Amazon per month for particular keywords. And then for each keyword, you could um, come to a, a ratio of the number of searches per month on Amazon over the uh, number of search results and the higher the number the better because it means there's more searches and less search results but you don't need to do that that's just sort of a slightly more advanced technique which you could perhaps use when you made money and want to invest in tools to help save you time but a lot of my books i've just used that basic technique where i've showed you where i get these keywords and this list 
Now, it does take time, taking each keyword, putting it in the Amazon search bar, getting the search results right into the, into the spreadsheet. But I've done all that work for you, and I've listed it in my Gumroad shop, which I'll leave a link to below, and that's for the horror coloring book keywords. And I've put these keywords in .pdf, Excel, and .csv format. And those keywords are listed there and they are absolutely free. I'm giving you those away for free so you can get straight across there, download those keywords and then start to, to investigate those keywords further with search results of less than a thousand. Now, as I've said, I've done a brief outline of my keyword research, but if you want to know how I do that in more depth so that you can find your own keywords in, in other niches, then watch this video next where I go into depth on my technique for keyword research. I hope you found that useful. Hope you found that niche useful, something that you can investigate further, hopefully create books and make sales. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. And until next time, goodbye.